Let's solve question 39 now. So suppose that there are two individuals, N and Ben, who derive utility from consumption of a good. Now we have the marginal utilities of N over here, and we have the marginal utility of Ben over here, and we have the price equals to the marginal cost of the good, which is 20 euros. Now suppose the good is private. At the socially efficient level, N and Ben both consume 20 units of the good. Okay, so when we're speaking about a private good, what we care about is the individual benefit to every person. So we have to find out the optimal consumption for N, which will be the marginal utility of N equals to the marginal cost of the good. And then we'll do the same for Ben. Now, what is the marginal utility for N? So it's 60 minus the quantity of that good that N consumes equals to the marginal cost, which is 20 euros. So that's going to be 20. Now the quantity optimally for N will be equal to 40 units. So the quantity for N will be equal to 40 units. Now let's solve it also for Ben. What's going to be there? The marginal utility of Ben must equal to the marginal cost of the good. We know that the marginal utility of Ben is 100 minus 3 times the quantity. So 100 minus 3 times the quantity that Ben consumes equals to the marginal cost, which is 20 euros. So that's going to be 20. Now what's the result over here? If we take 20 to the other side, it becomes 100 minus 20, which is 80, equals to 3 times the quantity of Ben. 3 times the quantity of Ben. So the quantity of Ben is going to be equal to 80 divided by 3. The quantity of Ben, the quantity of Ben in equilibrium over here will be equal to 80 divided by 3. And what do we see that in equilibrium, they consume different amounts. They don't consume both 20 units of the good. So the answer is false.